Former Tier 0 Cyber Angel returns to be the best deck to build with no gems. This deck is not only strong, but is 100% free to play. This build needs no in-game resources or money to make. You can make this deck without opening a single booster pack. So with no further ado, please enjoy this video. Eta 10 is a card that many may not have free copies of. One is available by levelling up Alexis, and currently the other two copies are still free to play but are only from events that rotate out. Because of this, I will also be covering a build with only one Eta 10 if you find yourself not able to get multiple. If getting more copies of Eta 10 becomes easier in the future, I will add the details in the description down below. There will also be gameplay with a build playing only one, as well as a build playing three. Cyber Angel is a ritual deck and has a massive focus on ritual summoning. The strongest monster in the deck is Cyber Angel Dakini. This card has three powerful effects. When you ritual summon Dakini, you can force your opponent to send a monster on the field to the graveyard. This effect does not target or destroy, meaning that it gets through the protective effects of cards like Cyber Dancer and Azure Eyes. Since your opponent is the one who sends their own monster to the graveyard, this does not trigger the effect of Samurai Skull. These are examples, but there are plenty of decks which are weak to the removal effect of Dikini. Dikini also lets all your ritual monsters still do damage when attacking a monster in defense mode, meaning that your opponent cannot hide behind a wall of monsters. Dikini also makes sure that you maintain card advantage over your opponents, since during your end phase she can recover a ritual monster or machine angel ritual back to your hand. Machine angel ritual is semi-limited and is one of the two main ritual spells of the cyber angel deck. The other ritual spell being Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. When using Absolute Ritual, the monster you ritual summon must have the exact level of the monsters tributed. But with the Angel Ritual, you can exceed the level. Absolute Ritual can also shuffle monsters from the graveyard into the deck to meet the required level total. And the bonus effect of Angel Ritual is that you can banish it from a graveyard to save one of your monsters from destruction. Speaking of protection, the skill for this deck is Master of Rights 2. With this skill you begin the duel with Ritual Cage on your field. There are loads of monster effects that this card will protect your Ritual Monsters from. You also take no damage from attacks involving your Ritual Monsters. Angel Ritual can also be searched with Cyber Petite Angel. Petite is not semi-limited, but there are only two copies of Petite in the game. This card gives Cyber Angel consistency. Upon summoning it, you can grab Machine Angel Ritual or a Cyber Angel monster, and being level 2 means it can combine with either of the level 6s for a perfect level 8 ritual summon. For the level 6s, there is first Ben 10. Ritual summoning needs tributes, so when you do so with this card you can search for any Light Fairy monster, which is pretty much any monster in the deck. Ritual summoning isn't the only way to tribute Ben 10 though, because this build also uses 3 Merciful Machine Angel. I use 3 because even if you draw 2 copies, you can put the other one back to the deck, so I don't don't think the once per turn clause is an issue. The other level 6 is Eta 10. You quite often start the combos with this, since it grabs a ritual spell on summon, then can also boost your cyber angels once tributed. If you are only able to get one, don't worry, since it can be recycled with absolute ritual and Dakini, and is easily searched with Ben 10 and Petite. The two cards I recommend replacing the missing copies with are Herald of Purple Light and Temperance. They are both light fairy, so they can be added into the hand with Ben 10. The purple light can stop trap cards, and temperance can stop lethal damage. They also have the convenient levels of 2 and 6 to work with the ritual spells. Izana isn't amazing, but I think it's still nice as a single copy, since the double attacking can be useful. The other two effects can be nice sometimes as well. In the extra deck is just the only 100% free to play rank 6, Archfiend's Ascent. This card should not be summoned too often, but with Ben 10 and Eda 10 both being level 6, it might be useful sometimes. Enjoy the gameplay. Ooh, Quattro. Is this the puppets or the gimmick variety? Okay. Yeah, it is puppets. Okay, sends the Dread Old to the graveyard with a skill to play the Des Troy in defense. The Troy will pop itself. We summon up to two puppets from the hand with the effects of the graveyard of Troy. Summons the, the Magnet Doll in defense. 
and another Magnet Doll in defense as well. So two Magnet Dolls, Pot of Greed, tributing the, uh, the Magnet Doll to draw two cards. Is there a Rankate XU Shokong coming down here? It would seem that way. Makes a number 40. Set one. Pass. Draw. We're going to draw two first and then see what we draw. Using Ben 10. Draw two. Uh, hmm. With this, we grab ourselves Ben 10 and then activate Absolute Ritual. Summoning E to 10. Tributing Ben 10 from the hands. Then chaining one uh, Ethan, chaining two Benton. We're gonna grab ourselves a petite, uh, one of these, yeah, a absolute ritual. Then a normal summon petite. This will then search us a Dakini. This can, can attack both monsters, so we're gonna tribute the petite and the E de ten for Izana. Put back the petite um, and the. Ben 10, I guess. Yeah, this and Ben 10. For Dakini, and no effect of Dakini, because we want to attack twice here. You can only attack twice if they have um, at least two monsters. Going to attack V number 40. Then attack again. It also does piercing as well. Boop. No defense. Lethal. GG. Mm. First here, we're going to draw two with Merciful and see what we get. Put back V Dakini. Yeah. Because I want to have this in my hand for, for next turn. Okay, so from, from the delay here, this is likely Thunder Dragon. Uh, we're going to grab the Ben 10 with this, doesn't really matter in what order we search for two. Let me grab um, E to 10 with Petite. Yep. Grab E to 10. Let me go activate Absolute Ritual. Mm -mm -mm. Summoning the E to 10 by tributing the Ben 10 from the hand. Let me go chaining one E to ten and chaining two uh, Ben ten. We will search for a Dakini with us. Then we'll search for a um, Angel Ritual with E to ten because this gives us the protection in the graveyard from card effects that would destroy or by, also by battle. Summoning the Dakini, attributing. Uh, the Petite and the E to 10. Gonna boost it by a thousand. Nope, no grass, please. <laughs> or oh, no. Okay, end phase, we add back the Ben 10 with, uh, with the Dakini. Because that way I have Merciful plus Ben 10 um, for my next turn. Uh, never dark. Past turn, okay. So definitely hand traps somewhere. Hmm. We'll do this first. Tribute Ben 10 to draw two cards. So I'm going to put back the... Hmm. Interesting. Do, do, do. I think what I might do is um mm, is is put back this and then grab a petite with this. Ben 10 will search for petite. Because um, this plays around the um the skill. They need um 1800 damage for the skill to trigger. So by attacking with this first, we, we can play around with it. Temperance. It's another hand trap, so past turn. I'm gonna add back the E to 10 with Dakini. T 
Temperance, Dark. Okay, this is a duo. Gonna search for a Thunder Dragon card with a Dark. Grabs a Hawk. Mm hmm. This is fine. Hawk effects, yep. Gonna summon back the Dark. Yep. Um, do we protect this? Hmm. Do, 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 do. I think so, yeah. Because it means that we didn't get a search or anything. Duro. Okay, now we go summon Aegisen, tributing Ben 10. Chain link 1, um, Aegis 10. Chain link 2, Ben 10. Grab the key. Mm -mm. Uh, grab another Absolute Ritual. Can activate Absolute Ritual. Uh, tributing the E10 and the Petite. And this will boost um, the other Petite, sorry, the other Dikini to 4 7 and this one to 3 7. But yeah, time isn't real, it's fine. Time is a social construct. So we'll attack with, with this one first to play around the skill. Okay. Directly with Takini. We still aren't allowing them to, to use the skill. End phase, effect of Takini number one. We're going to add back uh, Ben 10. The, the other one will add back Eda 10's other hands. Hawk effect is going to bring back maybe the duo. So we're kind of like doubly protected with um, Ritual Cage and with the, the Angel Ritual in the, in the graveyard. But yeah, Temperance is a, is a searchable regular Kribo, pretty much, because it can be grabbed with, with Ben 10 if you, if you want to. Also it's level 6, which is quite nice. Summoning this, tributing this in Grave, uh, this in Hand. And... Yep, the boost, battle phase, attack. GG. See you guys.